Good morning. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Kasha. I'm just going to do my usual and share my video once it's up. Here we go. How's everyone doing today? I'm just going to give you a couple minutes to pop on. And in the meantime, let's pull a card as always. Set our intention for the day, maybe the week. We'll see what comes up. We've had a beautiful, beautiful May so far the last week. It's been hot and amazing, and I love it. So our lake water is rising, so that's kind of scary, but this one. But I think we'll be okay. Breakthrough. Release with love. All that does not serve and support you and emerge renewed. That's our, that's our card for, for today. And it's actually perfect as always. It's perfect for, um, for the video because of what I'm going to be talking about. So I have my notes here because, you know, Sometimes I ramble, but I, I really do try my best to make these on point. So uh, Mati says, sounds like what's been trying to do for the past week or so. Yeah, exactly. And actually, Mati, you're the one that inspired this video um, because of something that you said to me last week. And I just, I've been thinking about it and pondering it. And it, it makes so much sense um, as to why it is now that I've sort of had a chance to meditate over it and journal and stuff. So that's why I wanted to talk about stories. Um, I should probably introduce myself to those who don't know me or who are new to me. My name is Kasha Rashfall and I am a life and business intuitive healer and mindset coach. And I also create channeled art like some of the pieces, the two pieces you see behind me where I tune in and I receive an image uh, based on someone's energy and then I get to paint it which is really fun. And mainly I work with women, spiritual women entrepreneurs and help them release their old stories. So I'll be talking a little bit today about why our stories matter and sharing a little bit about my own story with you. And when I started sharing it, how it not only changed my life, but it has inspired others to look more deeply inside themselves and, and create shifts and things like that. So um, that's enough about me. And so stories, let me just take a peek here. The first point I want to make is, you know, when you, when you either watch a movie, like a really good movie, or you read a really good book, or you're listening maybe to a talk on, um, on YouTube or live and someone shares their story and you feel yourself drawn into it. And it's like you forget the world exists obviously a good storyteller, you know, makes a difference. But even if someone is, is new to speaking or um, they're just sharing from the heart, it still draws us in because um, we resonate with the words they say or we resonate with the ideas they're sharing. And, um, uh oh, hang on. My computer's giving me all kinds of notifications. We resonate with the ideas they're sharing because they touch on something inside us that we're either aware of or we're not, and it's beginning to come to our awareness. So for the last, you know, probably month, month and a half, I've been consistent with my videos on my page, and I've been sharing a lot of tools and a lot of, um, you know, stories about me, some client stories, that sort of thing. And I've had not just Machi, but, but many of you, many people message me afterwards or comment and say, you know, what you said really resonated or what you said really made me go inside and look inside myself and realize here's why I am not getting what I want. I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I'm feeling, you know, all these things and, and stuff's coming up for me and I'm learning how to work through it, um, it made me realize that 
by sharing our story, by me sharing my story and, and not only my story, but also how I've gone through it gives others the language and gives others the awareness to then look inside themselves and hone in on what it is that they couldn't put their finger on, right? Anyone, any one of us who is even remotely aware or remotely consciously awake, um, you know, we'll, we'll feel stuff, we'll go about our day, we'll go through things and, and we'll feel stuff, but we can't always put our finger on it. Like, why is this always coming up? Why does this emotional trigger always get me? Um, why do I react in the way I do? And by connecting with stories from other people and not only what happened to them, but how they got through it gives us the clue to then turn that mirror back on ourselves and go, oh yeah, it's because I resonate with this because I think this is what's going on. So of course, no, no one's story is exactly the same as ours. Um, what I've gone through in life um, isn't exactly what you've gone through, but it gives us clues and, and it gives us a starting point and it gives us a really great place to um, jump off of and then use whatever tools work for you to um, be able to, you know, dive in and then, and then look up, look at yourself, figure out what your own story is, where it is that you might be stuck and then what to do next. So one of the stories that I, I think that I love to share because I think it's so powerful is a couple of years ago when Wayne Dyer died. Um, he, he's my first mentor. Um, his book, the power of intention really helped me to not only save my own life, but change my life, even though I had no idea what he was talking about when I first started reading it, but I loved it. And it, it, um, awoke something inside me that, um, started this hunger to figure it out, figure myself out, figure out, um, you know, why, why I felt so unhappy in my life. And when he passed away, I had this awakening moment. It was like his last living gift to me, even though, of course, he didn't know me from, you know, from the next person. I did meet him one day. I have a photo with him. I got my book signed. I've heard him speak so many times. When he passed away, I had this awakening moment of, of realizing that I actually you know, up until that point, so so that's not that long ago, a couple years ago, right? Not even. Um, I was working with clients. I was helping them change their life. I knew so much. I had gotten certified in um, neurolinguistics and life coaching and all these other amazing things. And as I was helping others apply these things in their life and their lives were changing, I felt like I wasn't. I was standing still and I, I actually felt quite like a fraud because here my clients are having all these amazing experiences and changes and yet I feel like I'm not. And so by by uh, diving into that when he passed away and asking myself some really, really hard questions and really telling myself the truth, I realized that I actually didn't feel worthy to apply what I knew in my own life, right? It, it seems so simple. I don't feel worthy so therefore I think I'm not going to um, do any of this stuff because it's not going to matter in my life anyway. And after he passed away, I decided, you know what? That's crap. Like I I'm seeing all these techniques and, and things work in my clients lives. Why wouldn't they apply to me? Right? So even though I didn't feel worthy still, um, I decided to, for 30 days, implement everything I knew, like actually do the work, actually apply it to myself. And, um, I think, was it, was it Yoda that said, um, do or do not, there is no try. So I was no longer going to try to make this work. I was just going to do the work and I was going to make it like it, whatever happened, it didn't even matter. Um, the only one condition that I placed on those, that 30 day experiment was that I was going to look at how everything I was applying was actually working instead of not looking at how it was working. So looking for the evidence of success as opposed to the evidence of, I guess, failure or whatever the opposite of that is, right? And I can't remember the exact things that I applied. Um, I mean, like by that point, I, I had studied so much. So I just basically, whatever came up that day, I was applying. 
And the, the amazing thing that I really got surprised by, like genuinely surprised, because even though I was looking for evidence of it working, um, I think deep down, I still didn't believe that it would. But either way, despite that belief, um, 30 days later, or I, I think actually, I don't think I even remembered to check in at 30 days. I think I went a lot longer because, because what happened is as I started implementing this stuff, I started feeling better about myself, my life, my friends, my relationships, my family, all sorts of things. And so I just kept going. And I think it was a good, probably three months later, all of a sudden I checked back in and realized, wow, I'm actually, I do feel worthy. Like I feel more worthy than I did when Wayne Dyer passed. And I had that, that awakening moment and that, that breakdown. So it actually worked for me too, <laughs> which was awesome. And I share this story because some of the comments that I've received from you guys who have been watching and whether it's in private or you've commented is that you realize that the reason you're not getting what you want in your life is because you also don't feel worthy. And by me just being able to share those words with you and, and speak um, those words. Oh, thank you so much for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. That feels so good to me. Thank you. By me just sharing this stuff openly and sharing tools, you've realized, you know, I don't feel worthy either. And so that's a, such a huge awareness because now that you know that, you have more choice, right? You can make the choice to either stay where you're at, and that's okay if you choose that, or you can choose to do something different. And it doesn't even matter what you do. If, if all you do is implement one new thing that you haven't implemented before, um, and you take that action consistently and you look for the evidence of what works, right? It, it will change your life. It will start small and you will notice it will, you will feel better. You will feel different. And if you keep focusing on how everything is working out for you, just as a result of that one tiny change, eventually you will, you will notice different things. You will, you know, get inspired to do different things and implement more things and you know, many of us in this, in this community of, of spiritual entrepreneurs, we have read the books, we have gone to the seminars, we've done the coaching, we have done the things. And so we know a lot. So there's not even anything new that you have to learn in this moment. If you just implement the stuff you know, your life will change. I guarantee you that. Um, doesn't matter what you start with. Start with something. And and do it consistently and notice how it's, how it's working, right? Don't poke holes in it. Focus on how it's working. Um, it just, it works. And, and it's like, if I hadn't lived through it myself, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to sit here telling you this because I was one of those people that believed I was special, <laughs> right? Special in the sense that the universal laws didn't apply to me. I thought I was the only human being on the face of the earth who couldn't succeed, who, who wasn't worthy, who, who just didn't have what it took to, to make the life that I wanted. And of course that's crap. Of course that's crap. But I didn't, I wasn't aware of that until much, much later. Um, the way I broke through that was through just practicing what I knew, implementing what I knew and noticing how it was working. So even though we're all unique, none of us is so special that the universal laws don't apply to us. And if we take the action and look for the evidence and feel better and take the inspired action again and look for the evidence and feel better, um, like it's got to change, right? It's got to change because that is law. There's lots of universal laws, not just the, the law of attraction. There's so many of them. So I wanted to share with you um, one of the tools that I created through this journey, not just for myself, but you know, it's something that I've used, but I, I've decided to put it into a digital course form so that I could share it with you and help you um, take this journey if you feel it's right for you. And it's a journaling course that I call I Am Ready to Heal. Um, I'm really excited about it because it takes the, the vast knowledge that I have and, and condenses it into a PDF, like a, it's a digital workbook with uh, a bunch of powerful transformational questions 
that you can do at your own pace. So if you love journaling and or if you're if you're looking to get into journaling and you're not sure where to start, this is going to be an amazing starting point for you. Um, what what I did is I took um, what I know about the healing journey and um, not just my own experience healing my own uh, stuff in my life, but but especially things that I've helped other women through um, because I truthfully primarily work with women. Um, I've broken down the healing journey into three phases. Now, there's healing is, is a spectrum, right? It's a, it's a road and it, there's not one way to do it. But I broke it down into three phases that I have seen repeatedly um, through my own experience and through client experiences. And I've described the language that, that you use in each of those uh, healing phases and what that phase feels like so that you can really easily identify where you're at in the journey. And then from there, there's powerful questions in the course that you can journal through and consciously choose to um, advance in that journey so that ultimately you can heal the old stories, get closure, like finish healing and move on, right? Because it doesn't matter how long you've lived with a drama or trauma or, or pain in your life. Once you're ready to let it go, it's easy. You just, you, you do the work and it goes, but you have to be ready for it and you have to, um, like you just, you got to do the work, right? So this course is a self-paced course that I've designed to um, help you figure out where you're at in the healing journey based on these three phases and how to consciously move through to the end so that you can get closure, you can get forgiveness or whatever it is that it's going to take for you to finish that healing that story and be emotionally free from it. Um, even though it's a self-paced course, what I've decided to do, because notoriously, like how many books, courses do you have um, either on your bookshelf or on your computer that you've never actually finished? I know I've got a ton. Um, nothing wrong with that, but I really, I, I love this course so much and I've put everything into it and I want you to be successful going through it. So I've decided, even though it's a self-paced course that you're going to be doing, um, at your own pace, whenever you have the, you know, whenever you set up that time for yourself, I've decided to include office hours with me, um, so that if you get stuck or if you have a question or if you need some extra support, you can call in, um, it'll probably be using my Zoom room. You can call in and I'll be there um, at a predetermined time and we can chat about it. I can tune into the answer for you um, to whatever question you have. I can offer you that personalized support so that you finish the course. You don't just start it, but you actually follow through for yourself and you finish it um, because it's not enough to just start. You have to keep going. You have to follow through and and when your stuff comes up and it's hard, it just, it helps so much to have that. Oh my goodness. I think there's a cat fighting outside. <laughs> Sorry. That kind of came out of left field. Um, when things get hard, you want to have that support from someone who can, who can hold that space for you, who can um, hold your hand in those tough times um, that you can rely on to, um, to just get you through, right? Because when we're at our most freaking out, when, when we have the highest, um, like when we're in, in the depths of our stuff, when, when our back is pushed up against the wall the most, that's when the door is the wide, the, open the widest for us to be able to walk through it to emotional freedom, to, to the breakthrough. And so that's the space I want to create for you um, as you go through this course by, by having those office hours every month so that... Um, you know, when you're going through it, you can call in and, and we can get you through it. So, um, oh my gosh, there's like a massive cat fight in my backyard. That's hilarious. Um, so I will post the link to the course. If you go to my website, kasharashville.com forward slash, I am ready to heal all one word. Um, you'll, you'll get the information for there. I've priced it at $49. I want it to be super accessible to everyone, no matter what your financial situation, because I believe that um, if you want the resources, if you want to do the work, it, they're out there for you. When you're ready, like when the student is ready, the teacher appears. This is my solution 
for you to um, dive into those old stories at your own pace, at the, the pace you're ready, um, and get the, get the help you need so that you can finish healing from some of these things that keep you stuck, keep you afraid. Um, you know, if you're a business owner or if you're a parent, like your stuff comes up, right? Those two, those two things in our life push our buttons so much. And so this is my way of um, helping you to begin that journey of healing or if you've been on a journey of healing to help you continue it and give you a different perspective, um, a different way of doing it so that you can get to the end and get to that emotional freedom. Because when you can let go of your old stories, um, oh, hey, thanks so much for the thumbs up. When you can let go of that story, um, honestly, you feel like, first of all, you feel delicious. Like you just, it, you feel different. You feel clear and expanded in your physical body. Um, and who doesn't want to feel delicious, right? But you also have access to then different solutions, different choices in your life, in your business. And um, you have more clarity. You have more focus. You're able to follow through on things that you start. Um, you're able to show up for people differently. You're able to show up for yourself differently. Um, you're able to set more healthy boundaries and enforce them and um, just your life changes on so many levels. So if you feel called like this is this sounds like a good course for you, then please uh, check it out. I'll post the link and I would love to support you through this journey. So Machi says, I found that some of Matt Kahn's videos really helped me get a new perspective on some of my emotional blocks. Yeah, and I'm certainly ready to heal as much as possible. So yay for more tools. Or should I say woo? Yes, definitely. Um, thank you for that. I definitely, um, I'm all about woo. Whatever helps, do it. Um, don't delay, just do it. Um, so I'll share the link to the course um, in the comments. And of course, I will post about it on my page. It's just on my site. And I can't wait to support you through this journey. If you have any questions for me, please comment below. Please like my video. Um, go to my Facebook page and like my page so that you always get notified when I'm going live. Um, my intention is to do videos at least three to four times a week. And of course on Wednesdays um, is one of my favorite days because I tune in um, and answer your questions. Um, just if you have a question, I will tune in and, and give you an intuitive answer, intuitive guidance on that. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much to everyone who watched live. Thank you so much if you are catching the replay. I love and appreciate every one of you. Thanks for the thumbs up. Those make me super happy and I'll see you tomorrow.